Welcome to HP Tuner's 4 Gen 1 Coyote Training Part 23. In this training module, we're going to be taking a look at how to dial our speed density in using our VCM scanner for logging and histogram purposes, as well as how we can integrate a map sensor into our AC pressure switch so that we're able to log actual map pressure and dial in the speed density tables using our logged data. We're going to have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how to dial in our speed density operation on our Gen 1 Ford Coyote PCMs. Our speed density is a little bit of a unique type of system or strategy here in our Gen 1 Ford Coyote PCMs because we don't have a map pressure sensor fit it. In traditional speed density terms, you always need a map pressure sensor and an intake air temp sensor so it can calculate the estimated amount of airflow or air mass entering the engine. And we don't have that. We actually have a calculated map pressure reading, which is hinging upon the MAF sensor registration reading. So it's a little bit of a unique system here. We're going to talk about it. We're going to break it down, how it works, and how we can actually calibrate it. Because without a map pressure sensor on the engine, there's really no way we can validate or verify the readings coming from that calculated value. So the first thing I want to do here is just go into the calibration file and find our speed density tables, and then we'll start to break this down, make a little bit more sense of this. So I uh, have a file I have open here, SD tuning. This file was the previous file that we were dealing with in terms of the mass airflow tuning. Um, we know we validated the MAF curve, everything was good there. We were operating in just MAF mode. We need to turn back on the speed density calculations. Let's do actually do that real quick here so we can get that out of the way. Um, we need to make sure, and before we go any further, you need to make sure before you jump into doing any speed density tuning that your mass airflow curve is 100% dialed in. We have good data in, we have good data out. The map pressure sensor, the calculated or inferred map pressure reading used in the speed density calculations here in the Ford PCMs hinges upon the mass airflow curve being correct. So it needs to have the map being calibrated right in order to properly calculate the map in order to allow the speed density to function properly in its calculations. Just for clear with that. Um, so right now, just real quick, we'll go over this. We have our particular, um, under math calibration here, we have their file here, and this is again carrying through the file from that math specific tutorial. I have my cylinder air anticipation disabled. I also have math adaption disabled. If I turn them both back on here, specifically the cylinder air anticipation, that allows it to run a hybrid calculation between the mass airflow and speed density type of functions going on in the ECU. If we have this anticipation turned off and we have our desire air mass initialization switch disabled as we find right here, it ignores speed density calculation and it only focuses on operation with the mass airflow sensor being fitted to the engine. If we had to turn those off, both the cylinder air anticipation and initialization switch in order to dial in our map curve first. So now we know that that's 100% solid. The short and long-term trims were plus or minus 2% at most. Everything was 100% satisfactory there. I am confident now we can use, going into this tutorial, use all of that data from the map curve and the map reading to calculate the map, and then we can check against that calculated map. So let me go here to the initialization switch and turn it to enable. So we need to go and put it back to enable. Cylinder air anticipation should be enabled. I am going to be turning map adaption back on here. So let me go ahead and do file and just do save. We can flash this file to the ECU. Now, I haven't changed anything else in my calibration file just for reference. So those are the only things we've updated right now other than just changing the name. I changed it from math tuning to speed density tuning. Now, we've gotten that out of the way. Let's talk quickly how this is going to work. So the mass airflow is going to um, allow us to measure the amount of airflow coming into the engine. And we know how much air is coming into the throttle plate. By looking at, jumping in here to uh, electric throttle, by knowing what the throttle body model is showing for the predictive throttle angle and effective area, this will allow the PCM to understand the uh, actual movement of the throttle plate by knowing the airflow coming into the engine, by knowing our throttle body model, modeling that throttle plate movement, we can then figure out how much the map pressure sensor is being affected based on the, ma the mass airflow um, having values come in. So in order to tune speed density, we really should have proper throttle body model here, having reasonable throttle body data and the MAF curve dialed in. But that's going to be how it calculates the MAP pressure reading, by knowing the throttle angle movement, knowing the pressure drop across the throttle body, knowing how much airflow is actually being ingested, it can back calculate the MAP pressure. Now the MAP pressure that's inferred or calculated is used in the speed density calculations. Speed density is taking a look at the MAP pressure sensor, engine RPM, air temp sensor reading, which is giving a density aspect or calculation. It's also taking a look at the number of cylinders and the engine displacement. So by combining all of that 
and the amount of estimation of cylinder filling, uh, we can figure out then what the air mass is going to be as it's coming into the engine. Now, it's an estimation of air mass, so a lot of variables there hinge upon being calibrated properly in order for that estimation of air mass to work properly. So that's gonna be how things work here in the Ford PCM. So we know air mass, we know our throttle body data, we know the pressure drop across the throttle body, therefore we know the map pressure reading, and it's calculated, it feeds that into a speed density type of format, and then it calculates and estimates the amount of air mass. So we have a measured amount of air mass, we have a calculated amount of air mass in our speed density, and that's, it's confusing. But what we'll find here is that when we're turning on the cylinder air anticipation and the initial initialization switch for the desired air mass, that turns on this hybrid type of calculation going on where it looks at both the mass airflow and the speed density estimated airflow, air mass, in specific conditions. Now, if the mass airflow sensor fails, it has a backup or a lookup. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.